yes so welcome back to my channel and a couple of days back i created this video which says uh, should ai be used for scientific writing or not and in this video i have explained that why journals should allow the use of ai for scientific writing and there is an update by this elsewhere uh, publication houses and the journals that belong to elsewhere that they will be allowing the ai written content so i will just show you what exactly they are trying to uh, uh, mean by this so for that what I will do is that I will show you the uh, uh, web page from the elsewhere journals so this is the web page of very renowned journal from uh, elsewhere uh, it says computers in biology and medicines which has an impact factor of around 6.69 and as soon as I click on this guides for author over here a new page will open so as soon as this page opens in front of you and as you scroll down what you will see is that there is this new entry that has been added into this uh, guides for author which says a declaration of generative AI in scientific writing so let's click on it and see what they are trying to explain so here they say that uh, authors should only use so as you can see over here author should only use this technology to improve the readability of uh, the manuscript and to improve the language so this means that the authors are allowed to write their manuscript with the help of an AI as far as the data that has been represented in the manuscript is the original work of the author right so this is the first thing that I wanted to mention over here now is uh, it is said uh, that AI and AI assisted technology should not be listed as the author or the co-author or be cited as an author okay so suppose in case if you have used chat GPT for writing your manuscript then you should not include chat GPT as an author or as a co-author so this is something uh, that is very important only humans should be kept as the authors and the co-authors of the uh, manuscript so this is the first thing now further they also say that suppose if you write your manuscript with the help of an AI models like ChatGPT or Bard AI from Google or with the help of Bing AI from Microsoft then you have to mention uh, something which says a dis disclosure instruction so you have to provide a statement of disclosure that during the preparation of this work the authors used the name of the tool so here you need to mention the name of the tool suppose if you have used chat GPT then you have to make use of uh, or you have to uh, mention chat GPT over here and you also need to specify the reason so you can specify the reason that you have used chat GPT so that you can provide better quality of language in a manuscript to increase the readability of uh, the manuscript uh, and after using this tool and service authors reviewed and edited the content as needed so once you write the manuscript the authors should read review and edit the content which has been written by an AI and should take the responsibility for the content of the publication so whatever is written by an AI the authors of the man manuscript should take the full responsibility of it now there is one more thing to it which says over here that suppose if you are using AI just for checking grammar or spelling or references then there is nothing to disclose so if you are using this AI tools to rewrite the content that you have already written then you are not supposed to give this statement so if you are paraphrasing your own content or if you are just improving the language of your own written work then you are not supposed to give this statement okay so there are two things over here first is that AI written manuscripts are allowed by the uh, journals belonging to elsewhere and second if you are using AI written uh, or AI models just to improve the language quality then you don't even need to provide the uh, disclosure statement in the manuscript so this is regarding just one journal that I took an example which is computers in biology and medicine 
Now let me look at another journal which is again from uh, elsewhere which is microbiological research which is again a, a very renowned journal so again as i click on guides to author over here onto this journal's web, web page again they are showing me this declaration of generative ai in scientific writing and i am seeing the same content over here okay so as I have mentioned previously in my previous video, the link will be there in the description below of the previously published video, couple of days back, which I have created uh, that whether AI should be used for scientific writing or not, whether the author should adapt this technology or not. And the publication houses like elsewhere has come out in front of the public and have uh, disclosed that, okay, it is absolutely fine for the authors to make use of an AI model. I hope you like this video uh, and thanks for watching this video till the end, catch you in the next one.